Markovic. Salah 3-0. Salzburg schenkt hier Liverpool das dritte Gegentor. Vielleicht zwei. Ja, es ist nicht ein Freundschaftsspiel. Ja, es ist ein Champions League Spiel. Wir müssen Gruppe League auf dem Platz und geht doch gehen mit Druck. Diese Aktion, manchmal mit Van Dyke. Ja, komm, Junge. Obviously in this, in this business, everybody has an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what I think is important is to is to allow players to fail and allow players to know that it's okay to fail and to make mistakes, and that when we do that, that's the only way to get better. But we have more. We have more. Okay. Jesse Marsh, FC Salzburg. Jesse Marsh's half-time team talk at Anfield worked. On match day two, Salzburg came out for the second half, a team inspired. Salzburg has eilig. Wang. The second stange. Minamino. Zweite. Minamino. Gegen Van Dijk. Holland. Der Ausgleich. Ich fass es nicht. Soboslei, leichtfertiger Ballverlust, die Chance für Salah. 4-3 Liverpool. Despite falling just short, Salzburg's all-action fightback did their fans proud. Not bad for a club who hadn't appeared in the UEFA Champions League for 25 years until their season opener against Genk. My take on you know, our, our club finally reaching Champions League was interesting because on the day of the game, the stadium was full maybe an hour before kickoff. We were excited and obviously all the media attention, but, and we had talked for weeks about preparing ourselves. And all I did in the final days and final moments was reassure the team that we were ready and that we didn't need any special messages. We didn't need any special emotion. because there's been so many disappointments over the years. But when Erling Haaland scored the second minute goal, I think it was a, a release for, a, an emotional release for the entire stadium and the entire city to feel like, all right, this year's gonna be different. Marsh is breaking new ground as the first American in charge of a UEFA Champions League club. An eight-year coaching career in the States was followed by an assistant role at Leipzig, and now this, his first senior job in Europe. The 45-year-old has already indoctrinated his infectious style to the Austrian champions, who have found the back of the net nine times in two UCL games so far. Next, they face group leaders, Napoli. Our ambition in this group is to, to emerge into the round of 16. Obviously, that's very optimistic and aggressive, but I think that's by nature who we are, where we play aggressively and we think aggressively. <laughs> now, we're also very realistic to know that the challenge ahead of, uh, of this group with, with Napoli and Liverpool is, is very, very difficult. But I think that you have to have the mindset when you enter into Champions League that you want to play against the best and that you're, gonna, you're ready for it and you're not afraid. It's clear this is the best tournament in the world for football.